In this video, we are going to learn how to sort and filter data. If you find yourself banging your head when it comes to sorting and filtering data in Excel, we can make your life less stressful. Excel lets you sort and filter data easily. For example, you can sort data from lowest to highest, calculate averages, find top 10 or bottom 10, sort by color, filter data using complex and multiple criteria, custom the data or list to sort or fill in a user-defined order, and sort by row. You can do this to your existing data quickly and easily with the help of a couple of clicks. Sorting and filtering data is key to data analysis and can help you answer questions such as, who sold more than 10,000 cars this month? Which employee has greater than 10% sales increase from year to year? Who are the top performing and worst performing sales employees sorted in descending order as per the hire date? And many more such questions. Let's quickly differentiate between sort and filter. Sorting organizes existing data in a manner you would like it to. Filtering displays only the rows of data that meet certain criteria specified by the user and hides the rest of the rows for one or multiple columns of the data. This in turn helps you identify patterns and trends which can later be conditionally formatted. You conditionally format data to help you visually explore and analyze data, detect critical issues and identify patterns and trends. Together, sorting and filtering and conditionally formatting data can help you make more effective and strategic decisions based on your data. We are going to look at conditional formatting in another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to sort, filter and then advance filtering. First, we look at sorting and then learn how to do filtering. Let's say we need to sort this table by first name in ascending order. Let's go to the data tab. Under sort and filter, let's click on sort. Under sort by, let's click on first name. We are going to let it be values. And we want to sort it by ascending order, so we're going to let it be A to Z. And click OK. Now let's go and check if the entire data has been sorted. Let's go at the bottom, all the way at the bottom. Oh look, from row 46 onwards, our data has not been sorted. That's because rows 44 and 45 are blank, hence the entire data set was not selected. It is very crucial to select the entire data set before sorting, or it could horribly mess up the results. So let's go ahead and delete these two rows. And let's now select the entire data set. Go to the data tab, click on sort and first name, values, and ascending order. Let's just click OK. Now let's go and check if the entire data set has been sorted. Yes, it has been. It is very important to remember that the entire data set needs to be selected before sorting. OK, now let's imagine that you are asked to sort this particular table by two or more columns. How can we do that? Let's select the entire data set again. Let's go to the Data tab, click on Sort, and under this dialog box, let's say we are asked to sort by department first. So we're going to select department and sort by values. And we're going to let it be A to Z because we want to sort by sending order. Now click on this icon called add level. Another row appears. Now we want to sort by hire date. So we're going to select hire date. We're going to let it be values. And we want to sort it by oldest to newest. So we're going to select that option and click OK. As you can see, departments have been sorted in ascending order and in that, higher date has been sorted from oldest to newest. Now let's look at another technique for sorting and filtering data and perhaps the most common one. Click on row header and go to the data tab. Click on this filter icon. A drop down icon will appear in the row header. There are a couple of types of filters available here. The first one would be date filter. Let's say we want to know how many employees joined last month, last week, this month, last quarter, this quarter, this year, last year. So all these options are available and you can click on any of them. The other kind of filter is number filter. Let's say we want to know who are our top 10 earners. We can go ahead and click on this. Another window will pop up. In this, you also have the option of finding out who are our bottom 10 earners. 
a bottom five. If we want to reduce it to five, then we can just get bottom five earners. If we want to know who are the above average earners, we can click on above average. Or if we want to know below average, then we can click on below average. Or if we want to know, let's say, who earns less than 20,000 or who earns less than 30,000, we can go ahead and input that amount and find that out. So this is our date and number filter. There's another kind of filter called text filter. This is available for the text options. If we want to know, let's say, all the employees whose names begins with A so we can click on begins with and type in the letter and figure that out. So these are various sorting and filtering options available in Excel. Now we're going to look at advanced filter. In order to work on advanced filter we need to insert a couple of rows above the entire data set. So go ahead and click on cell A1 and insert couple of rows above the data set. Now go ahead and copy and paste the exact same column headers as per the data set from cell A1 through E1. Let's say we want to find out all the employees which fall under admin department and BI department. As you can see I have typed admin and BI under the column department. Now go ahead and click on data tab Click on Advance. Under List Range, select the entire data set. Under Criteria Range, select the Criteria Range, which is all the way from BI through first name, which is cell A1 through E3. And click OK. As you can see, all the employees who fall under Admin and BI are showing up. Now let's say we want to view all the employees in the admin department who have a salary greater than 60000 and we also want to know all the employees who fall in the BI department. So we are going to type in greater than 60000 in this column. Notice that I have typed in 60000 just into admin. This shows that this is an AND condition. So now I'm again going to go back to advanced filter going to leave the list range as it is and criteria range I'm going to reselect the criteria range all the way from BI through first and click OK as you can see there's only one employee in admit department whose salary is greater than 60,000 and there are two employees in BI department since there was no salary range specified for BI department, it showed up both of those employees. Now let's go ahead and clear this filter. Under Data tab, under Sort and Filter, click on Clear. Now let's say I want to find out all the employees who joined on January 14, 2011. So I'm going to type in January 14, 2011 in C4. Delete and again I'm going to go ahead and select the straight as the entire data set. Criteria range B. Area where criteria has been specified. Make sure to select that to the Click OK. As you can see, I have all the employees in BI and admin department, as well as one single employee who has joined on 14 Jan 2011 and he happens to fall under the admin department. As you can see these are all OR conditions as opposed to AND condition. Now let's see what happens if I copy this Jan 14 and put it in cell C2 and delete this. Jan 14, 2011 hire date is, is corresponding to admin department. That means it is an AND condition. Now let's go back and clear all the filters. So under data tab, click on here. Now let's go to advance. Select this range. The criteria. Click OK. As you can see now, 
There is only one employee who has joined on Jan 14, 2011 in admin department. So only one employee has showed up. And BI department as usual is showing two employees. Let's try and accomplish the same task using normal filter. Go to data tab, click on filter. As you can see the drop down arrows have now let's go ahead and click on admin and bi under department because those are the two departments for which we want to view the data and then under hire date let's go ahead and click on jan 14 yeah this is fine so i'm just going to go click ok look only one employee is showing up Whereas we wanted to view data for both BI and admin and in admin we wanted to view the data for the employees who have joined on Jan 14, 2011. This is just a glimpse of how powerful advanced filter can be. One of the most rare kind of sorting is row sorting. Before we start let's just select the data. We want to sort data from B2 through at 6 there are two ways of approaching the sorting option one way is to go to the home tab under editing click on sort and filter and click on custom sort the other way is to go to the data tab under sort and filter click on sort a window will appear click on options under orientation click on sort left to right and click ok we want to sort row 2 because that's where our weekdays are so we're going to select row 2 and then we're sorting based on values then we want to click on custom list and then we want to click on Sunday Monday Tuesday and then click OK and then click OK again as you can see our data is sorted row wise in appropriate chronological order hope this was useful this video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.